<laughs> so the the standard uh, bar mitzvah gift when I was growing up was this huge volume called Jews and Sports. It's a video of Jews and Sports by Jesse Silver. Um, and he's got pages upon pages of, of Sid Lutman in the book. Right. 300 pages about Sid. Three on Hank Greenberg. <laughs> Sandy no, Koufax no, no, no. handed the um, So anyway, um, but there's no mention of uh, Meyer in there. In fact, there's no mention of Meyer in the Wikipedia entry on Sid. Um, but by the way, uh, and I know you hate it when I interrupt you. Sure. There's no mention of Meyer anywhere until the old timer said to Dan Daly, too bad about his father. The story had simply disappeared. It was hanging by this little tiny thread of oral history. So so why was the whitewash so thorough? Why 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 did why did that part of his history get get erased so quickly? Well since we live in a so time so quickly and thoroughly. Yes. Well well we live in a time where there is no particular line anymore between public and private. Just go on Instagram. Uh, well, we all know that it's a, a fact of life now. That the question is not so much, well, the question is why was the bright line between public and private so bright back then? Now, we all know that, that the media didn't really start treating celebrities' private lives as public information, really until Gary Hart and the monkey business in the 80s, you know, a lot of secrets were kept. So we know secrets were kept. But we're talking about a big city, New York, in which everybody knew the Luckman situation. Every sports writer knew it, every editor knew it, and yet they were determined to, I guess, protect Sid. Now, this is my speculation that Sid was really quite a wonderful guy. He'd learned humility as a high school football player from his coach, Paul Sullivan. And later, he, he was the savior for Columbia's football team. He was the Messiah in Chicago. And even though when he came to Chicago, he fell in with, believe it or not, he fell in immediately with bookies. He fell in with he ended up rooming with a bookie who had been a hit man. But, you know, there's no Google back then. So you could be rooming with a guy who had killed one of the shooters from the St. Valentine's Day massacre in Chicago and not know it and never know. 